the rules of attraction short movie review set at the fictional Camden University a liberal arts college taking place over roughly one semester this follows three very shallow people kinda sorta maybe falling in love with each other where they don't necessarily realize that the other person is necessarily in love with them and we see them get like really excited maybe preparing for a date that the other person doesn't even consider a date or yeah just in general you know getting excited about the other person without really realizing that it's very it's only in their head that the relationship is where they really think it is or want it to be. This is very much the real a college experience and it's a movie that really you know hates the typical teen comedy about high school or college and it's very much a movie where everyone is shallow, everyone is an awful human being and these, you know, these are such privileged people and they just take it all for granted and they live miserable lives. You know, the, the you know, dancey, pop, you know, poppy music is playing and, you know, expressing like bliss, but we're actually watching depression, explicit, expressing connection when we're actually, you know, witnessing complete detachment and, you know, the, the, ironic tone is just spot on and yeah just through and through these characters have miserable lives and the only way they don't try to change their lives they just dive deeper into the drugs sex alcohol you know no matter how self-destructive their behavior is no matter how many times they've done it before and how badly it's going no matter if they're like failing out of classes you know we don't actually see them in classes we don't know what their majors are we don't see them study we hardly even see their teachers but yeah it's 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 college so it's all parties and yeah you know you you see these parties and these people are having fun aren't they they're supposed to but yeah there's just clearly it's it's not at all what we're supposed to think of college as it jumps around a bit not so much like you know it's fairly linear although the start is the ending and it then rewinds itself but it does jump around with characters seen in very different situations with their friends and such and then we see these parties and that is intentional it's supposed to be that what we're seeing is actually people's memories of college and yeah what do people remember they remember the really significant parts of their relationships and they remember the parties and such and yeah the the film has a ton of off the wall performances including some great cameos by just these you know really well known you know big names but they're they're acting completely against type and it's just astonishing and it's a film it's gonna make you laugh it's gonna make you cry maybe only one maybe some of both maybe both at the same time but it's definitely gonna make an impression and it's a film with a lot of disgusting material although most of it is suggested and it places some of the most disgusting right there at the start. If you don't last until the end of the opening credits, I completely understand. And it doesn't say anything bad about you. But if you do find that you still kind of want to see more of the film, consider just watching one scene at a time. Because it is a movie that really... It's not so much a movie that tries to win you over as much as it's a film that exists and it's remarkably well done but it's not for everyone and you might want to watch it several times and you know get the DVD it's got six commentary tracks it's got the original script it really helps you fully appreciate what is going on with these people because a lot of the time 
yeah, the, you know, their their actions, their emotions, their reactions are completely out of proportion to what's actually going on. And yeah, because these people are immature, they're living in their own little world where their problems are just devastating. They're they're bigger than anything else. And yeah, I mean, you don't know whether you know whenever a characters say something or act in a way that is just completely outside of what you might expect, you sit back and you're like, does that mean that they were lying before? Does this mean that that other scene was actually, you know, did that not happen? Did it happen some other way? And at the end of the day, it's up to, to a large extent, it's up to viewer interpretation. It's very much a film of questions, not of answers. But, you know, there is definitely plot and the characters do develop. You just won't necessarily like the plot events, nor were how these characters develop. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.